what is going on everybody today we have the jimmy jr melee if you don't know who i am i am the mac bringing you some more animation throwdown content so like i said we have the jimmy jr melee today but coming up just to give you guys a peek we have the rhythmic clash next week as well as the guild rumble that starts at the end of next week as well and some ideas that i've had is i thought about doing some arena content for this game as well as some no refill challenge content for this game if you guys are interested in that you can let me know down in the comments and if you aren't already you can subscribe to follow along anytime i do upload more of that stuff and you guys can jump in and give me more ideas for what i should do but anyways, on to today's event, we have the Jimmy Jr. Melee, and we have a deck of Jimmy Juniors. We do have one Archer in here to support, because he has a Motivate combo, but mostly we're running Animal, as well as Athletic. And we have a really good Athletic card here, which is Mountain Bike, so if I don't draw a Jimmy Jr., this has really good survivability. And then we have some PCs for support. So just to give you a glimpse at what those combos are, it'll be Tina's Fantasy, which it has a lot of Sturdy plus the Craze, and then Tina's Distraction, which has Cripple All, Punch, and Payback. So really, really good combos. And that is all there is to say about that. Oh, one other thing. I did level up my Ricky Spanish one more level, so I'll have an additional shield. That is exciting. Oh, there we go. It was stuck for a second. But let's waste no further time, and let's hop right into this. Let's see how we do. I really like Jimmy Jr. I've used him quite a bit. I had him in uh, my Educate deck. Actually, he is almost entirely my Educated deck because of Let's Go Fart. But it's not really a great combo to run here. So I'm not going to do it. The animal would actually be pretty good in this spot right here because of the Sturdy. It'll prevent any craze. But she'll take some payback. Yep, not too bad. And we can do Jimmy Jr. here. Let's see where its punch goes. Goes to the other slot. So they got Pam. That's actually going to be a lot of bodyguard. But actually, that's perfect timing with the Sturdy there. I guess if people are running Craze, then we might want a little bit more animal in the deck. The Tina's, fan or not Tina's Fantasy, Tina's Distraction is actually a little bit better against PC decks. We're really not going to run into PCs right away. So we might just take one more animal in our deck right after this match, which it looks like we are going to win. Super good. And this has a ton of craze, 42. So we like that. And we get on through. Very, very nice. So we'll actually just hop out real quick. Oh no, we're getting our milestones. They always try to hit us with these, these quick interruptions. Let's take a quick animal card detour. Let's grab one of these. We have a Billy Finn, or we could go another Cheezers or another Abelard. I guess I like Abelard for the cheer all potential, because if we do need to get outside of it, then that card just has cheer all. So we'll keep two of those in there. Let's hop right back. Let's see who we get. We get Matt Raid with Leela, which that could be very dangerous, but thankfully we draw a Jimmy Jr. Okay, so it has hijack. I think we should be able to handle it with this. Because it'll get some payback. Which should KO it. I guess they do have some leech. But that's not too big of a problem. The punch from Tina's distraction is pretty hefty. Okay, we draw an animal. Might as well put it to use just for fun. See how it does here, just brazing into future rich snot. Not a big deal for us either way. Yeah, it cannot break through that sturdy at all. I guess we'll throw down a mountain bike. Pretty sure we're going to take it here with no issues. And we do. Very, very nice. Exciting stuff. I love using Jimmy Jr. I don't know what your guys' favorite melee is. You'll have to let me know. But I love Jimmy Jr. I don't have a full deck of him or even a ton of cms but i just like him a lot okay bob and steen so that'll be great for tina's distraction here depending on if they have motivate okay they don't hopefully tina's distraction should be able to keep a hold on this yeah they'll take some payback in the first slot and it should go down it does good stuff we'll just set up another jimmy jr 
because that punch is crazy. So we definitely want as much of that as we can get. I love this card art as well while we're looking at it. It's just Jimmy Jr. standing there. This is from the Bob's Burgers movie, which is cool, but it's just, I don't know, it's just funny. He's just like translucent, standing there in his underwear, trying to figure out what the heck's going on. But all I know what's going on is we should be taking a W right here. Heck yeah. Very well done. Let's go to our next battle. See what we get. Death by Snoo Snoo. So they have Cyphless Jimmy Jr. Does that mean they're going to have more Jimmy Jr. coming up? Well, as long as it's PCs, that's not too bad. We could start crazing just because they have Cripple, but they will hijack some of it. I guess we'll just keep this under control. Start throwing some punches around. The punch is pretty strong. Yep. Okay, they had some motivate there. Not great. We're going to hijack this motivate that we have. But we should bring it down here in a second. They do have cheer all there. Okay. But their first slot goes down. So we'll get two cards punching for a good little bit. Almost take that down by one health. Get another Jimmy Jr. going. Hopefully they don't play an educated card out here. Because then he'll start cheering it. Not educated, that is toy. So I guess since that's toy, we might as well just get more punches getting thrown everywhere. Eventually something should go down, right? Okay, well something did go down, thankfully. I was not sure. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and place a mountain bike instead of a one-man band, because we already have a lot of cripple all on the board. There we go. Cards are falling left and right. Yeah, we'll just place more mountain bike. Doesn't really matter here. They are surviving with 2 HP, and we'll just play Abelard, our favorite animal card. And we take the W. All right, here we go. Next match. Let's see what we got. Someone who is not in a guild. Interesting. Is this going to be Wingnut Amy? I almost feel like it'll be Wingnut Amy, which won't be great for us. It is Wingnut Amy. It's only CM2, thankfully, so not too bad. We will cripple it down, and then it'll still take payback. So I believe it goes down right about now. And there we go. So this will probably be Cigarette Addicts. But we'll just play Jimmy Jr. anyways. Almost KOing Bobby. Okay, not Cigarette Addicts, but Steak Addict. We have our Tina's Fantasy here, but we'll just take Tina's Distraction. Is this a Tina Melee or a Jimmy Jr. Melee? Depends on what you're going by. If you're going by the names of the combos, I guess it's a Tina Melee. But here we go. There is one combo, Bruce the Goose, that makes a combo that gets buffed that's made by Tina and Jimmy Jr. Okay. Ooh, not good. They have a Jimmy Jr. combo right there. We might just go ahead and have to start crazing and then just deal with whatever damage they hit us with. Okay, it's not awful. It will be healing up. We'll play a Jimmy Jr. of our own. So thankfully, it's not an over-threatening combo. Thankfully, that could have been really bad. So we can't combo again, and we don't want to give it anything to hijack. So, I guess we don't... We could play another Jimmy Jr., but I think I'll just do a one-man band. Because it'll help with shield. Tina's Fantasy's already taken off in the first slot. And they're crippled down, so nothing to worry about. We could do this. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. One-man band's winning in that final slot because they did not cripple us down. So we'll just combo anyways. Get one of everything here. Tina's Fantasy, Tina's Distraction, and one-man band. Got the whole gang. And there it is. A clean sweep for day one with Jimmy Jr. Coming in clutch, doing his job, carrying the weight. We always appreciate that. Love getting a perfect first day. I feel like we've had some bad luck in prior weeks. You know, like probably about like getting close to a month ago, we had a lot of bad luck. But we take a look at the rankings. Yep, we're tied up here for first. 
And if we look at the rewards, see what we got for top 100. It is the new Wheel World card, which I believe this is Toy and it's Bob's Burgers. So if we get top 100, we can pick that up. I do not have that card. And for those that don't know, here's the milestones. These are always the same. If you get 32,000 points, you will pick up all these. So we will definitely do that. But our goal will be top 100. And I definitely think we can do it. We got a really strong Jimmy Jr. deck going on, plus some good support PCs. I'm excited to see where we end up. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in for day one of the Jimmy Jr. Melee. And we will be back for day two tomorrow. I'll see you then. Peace.